Hello and welcome to today's Technical Corner. I'm joined by Wayne Langford of Greenleaf Europe and today we're going to be talking about API grooving. So talk us through your API system. Yeah, the API system was developed in 2000 um, for oil field manufacturers um, of equipment such as valve blocks, discs, rings. Um, and the idea is to machine the seal groove, which um, historically took probably 40 minutes to machine. Uh, very quickly with in, in canal materials, mm -hmm. stainless steel clad, in canal clad materials mm -hmm. with the whisker ceramic technology. Yeah, so what, what is that technology, the whisker ceramic? Yeah, it's our, it's our WG300 whisker ceramic technology. Um, we use that for the um, in canal clad materials and then we have a carbide insert that we can use for stainless steel and base materials as mm -hmm. well. All in the same tools, you don't all need different the, tools. Yep, yeah, all in the same tools. <coughs> uh, the tools are designed to, for a one hit tool, so the spindle mounted. Uh, historically, the customer had to uh, put up facing heads um, to machine the tools. As I say, the spindle mounted, so it's a quick load tool. And um, they, they, they also machine the inboard and outboard chamfers at the same time. Mm -hmm. And these are big 50 tapers. Uh, Two holders. If you've got different ones, so maybe some of the multitasking machines. Yeah, we we, we do Capto, we do HSK as well. Uh, we try and keep the taper as big as possible for the rigidity. Um, the grooves are tied up to two thousand tolerance, mm -hmm. um, so we need to keep the rigidity there and keep the stability in the tool. I find it interesting. Obviously, whisker ceramics. <clears throat> personally, that's what that's where I see green. If that's what I know you for, but you also do it in carbide. What, why would you use carbide? Because surely. With the, with, the, uh, with the whisker technology, you're going to get the part off far, far quicker. Yeah, well, you can't use whisker technology in uh, some stainless steels and uh, base materials, carbon steels, so mm -hmm. that's where we use a carbide grade as well. Okay. Uh, we, we, we typically run at uh, the same feed rate for both grades. Uh, it's just the speed that's elevated for the whisker ceramics. And obviously you've mentioned oil and gas. It's it's predominantly your you know, no, no mix. Yeah, you're in canals you're, or your nasty materials essentially. So you're getting it off far, far quicker. Do you know what the saving would be if you're doing it the old method, milling the, it? The, the old method milling it, yeah, you've got probably a 40 minute setup with a 30 to 40 minute groove cut time. This is a few second load time. It, the, the tools can be held in the tools um, carousel. Um, they can be brought up and the machining time typically 20 seconds. So, so that's a ridiculous saving. Is I'm not going yeah. to put a percentage on that, but it, it, it's it's huge. Yeah. Obviously, these are quite often large lumps of material. Is is the process reliable? We're not going to scrap a job. Very reliable. The, the inserts are precision ground, so the repeatability is there. As I say, the high tolerance grooves uh, held to within two thousand on width and diameter. So everything's uh, tied up to eye tolerance to ensure they've got repeat repeatability. And in terms of the inserts, you've got all the inserts for the, for the different APIs? Yeah, we've got all the standard API grooves, uh, BX grooves, RJ, RTJ grooves. Uh, we also do uh, customer OEM grooves as well. Mm -hmm. So where a customer's got uh, their own special groove, uh, we can design and manufacture the tooling and inserts to suit. Isn't everybody using this technology? Surely they are with those savings. Uh, yep, yeah, more and more people use this technology. Uh, it's a very popular tool. As I say, it was brought out in 2000. Uh, we've sold a lot of these tools over the last few years. Uh, people have got to get parts off faster, and this is the way to go. Yeah, and how are you finding the oil and gas industry? It's gone, you know, it's no secret, it's been poor of late, but we, we're starting to see here at MTD, we're starting to see it actually, it'll actually grow again. Yeah, the, talk, the industry is certainly growing. Uh, I deal personally both in uh, the UK and Norway, and both areas are growing in, in the oil and gas industry. It's, you can see uh, job shops getting mm -hmm. busier, inquiries getting more. So Wayne, briefly, just talk us through these three different types. Obviously, they're milling tools, and that's a turning tool, but a you know, bit more detail. Yeah, we've got the Ringmax 2, which was a first generation uh, design, which is integral spindle. Um, for machine shops and customers that keep it in one machine uh, with the interface. Then we've got the Ringmax 3, uh, which is a two-piece tool. So we have the front end, which is a standard tool, and then we can supply back ends to suit customers' needs. If, it, For instance, if a customer's got a 
BT50 back end on one machine and a C8 uh, back end on another machine. They can use the same front end tool and just keep the, spin the back end within the carousel. Mm -hmm. And we the turning tool? Yeah, we also do the turning tool. We do the square section. We can do cap toe, HSK and round. Uh, these are obviously used on lathes for using uh, for end caps, such items such as end caps and uh, small valves. Um, again, it uh, just saves, typically they'd use a grooving tool to pick that out, but again, it saves the time on just being able to plunge out with one go. Mm. Brilliant. So that's the Ring Max from Greenleaf Europe. Thanks for watching.